what a better way to start the year with something that could change your life. Now, I'm not one of those people that will promise you something miraculous, something magical, that uh, it's unreal. But rather, I'll promise you something that could change your life. It changed mine in, a, okay, not in a gigantic way, but nevertheless, it changed my life. It impacted my routine. So every day, I am performing better and being better because of this thing. Now, there are a lot of scientific background on this subject, a lot of positive ones, but the idea of this video is not to show you them. If you want to, later you can research. Uh, YouTube and Google are your friends. But uh, my idea here right now is to explain to you how this thing improved my life and uh, helped me to, to perform my job and my duties in a better, more, more positive way. So, what am I talking about? I am talking about intermittent fasting, which is basically you staying long periods of time without eating. It can be 12, 14, 16 hours, or even more. Now, I know what you may be thinking. I cannot. I cannot stay, stay long periods of time without eating. I get uh, angry, I get irritated, I get in a bad mood. I know this feeling. Because I had it before. I, I use to eat every three hours. And uh, oh my, if I didn't eat. I would get all those things I, things I said. Uh, being angry, being irritated, being in a bad mood. And, or being uh, really weak, like uh, de-energized. And uh, when I first heard about fasting, I thought the same thing. This is not for me. And I will explain later. The transition period is actually quite short and not that harsh. So usually people do intermittent fasting to lose weight. Uh, it seems to be a very good way to lose weight if it is your goal. But uh, for me, my goal was quite the opposite. Uh, I always trying to gain some mass. So I was a little worried that this whole thing would make me lose a lot of muscles. Uh, and uh, it was not the case. When you are fasting, basically, uh, your growth hormone can spike up to 2,000%. And growth hormone is considered one of the main, main elements to protect your muscles. So, this is something to consider. Now, the question is how, just how, eating or not eating for long periods of time can change your life. Well, what I can say and what I can feel every single day is, number one, I have a lot more energy. I know, makes no sense, because I didn't eat. So, the conclusion, the possible conclusion would be that I don't have enough energy. I'm weak for not eating or not uh, ingesting the proper nutrients and uh, calories that I so need. Again, this is not what happens. So I usually eat two meals a day, 1 p.m. and 8 p.m., nothing more. And uh, the period of the day that I have the most energy is in the morning. I wake up, and I am ready to go to do whatever I want. My body right now does not feel the urge for food. It's actually, it's really, really rare for me to feel hungry, which is something really nice. And again, a lot of energy. The thing is, even though it makes no sense, it is how it works. A lot of research, scientific ones, uh, claim that uh, we human beings are not meant to eat every single hour. The, the man in the caves, how can I say it? The prehistorical ones, our antecessors, I don't know. They didn't have food every single time. And more important, sometimes not even every single day. Now we can imagine a scenario, okay? So I am a, a man cave 
and um, I didn't eat yesterday. So I am with my spear. Come on, spear. <laughs> so I am with my spear, and uh, I see an animal. I need to hunt. Now, if the, the logic we usually hear is, is correct, what would happen? I would be really weak because I am so hungry. So when it is time to hunt this animal, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't have this, this explosion energy to, to go and hunt. And I would fail and thus the humanity, the human species would be extinct long time ago. We are all here. I'm here talking. You are here there uh, watching. So we made pretty well, which means that our body has a lot of mechanisms to, to, to make us perform really well without food every single time. So, first thing and first positive change in my life is that I have more energy in my day and that I am sharper. My mind just operates in a sharper level, so to speak, which is always nice. Second thing, which is uh, also really important, and especially for me because I am an actor, is this ability to be able to not eat for long periods of time. As I said before, I used to have this urge to eat every three hours. I heard it was the right thing, so I started to do, and my body got used to eat every three hours. But as an actor, sometimes I cannot eat every three hours. Sometimes I'm in the set recording, and uh, for whatever reason, for whatever logistical reason, I have to keep recording for longer periods of time and uh, having this ability is game changing in a way. I can, if I want to, perform well and be well without food. My body just, it is okay, you know, handling those kind of situations, which is always nice. So let's say that for whatever reason you cannot eat, you have a, an important a meeting, you have a test, whatever, and uh, you have to do something and you cannot eat. If you are used to do fasting, and I do every single day, you just can do it. You can, you know, endure those situations and be okay. Uh, me before, I would be just dying, you know, like, oh my God, I'm so, you know, in this lethargic, I don't know if it's the right word, this almost a zombie state, you know, like, uh, and um, now I can do it well. So this is the second positive change. Now the third and final one is that my days have more hours, so to speak, because I don't have to stop to eat every single time. I eat twice a day and yeah, the rest of the day I'm working, I'm doing my, my things and uh, more free time to do whatever I want and I need to do, which is really nice. Now, things to, to consider. Um, this video is not something to, quote, convert you to something. It is to maybe spark on you some curiosity so you can do more research, see more videos, read more art articles, and uh, yeah, take your final conclusion after it. It is good, it is something really good and impactful. Um, things I might say that could help if you decided to, to try this thing. Um, number one, there's probably three days of kind of a hard time, a, an adaptation period. Be prepared. So let's say tomorrow you have a really important meeting or test or something. Don't do the, your first day of fasting on this day. Maybe postpone it later. This is something to consider. Around three days. On these three days, you will feel hungry. Um, it might be strong, never like unbearable. 
but might be strong. But uh, gets easy. Gets way easy to the point you feel no hungry anymore. And there's one last point to be made. If you are interested and you have the time, just do it. You will not lose anything. Maybe you don't like it and then you return to it normally. But uh, that's what I did. I decided, you know, I will give a try. And if I don't like it, just return it normally. It's awesome. So, oh, one uh, more things like a brainstorm here. <laughs> um, in the gym, I am way stronger now. Again, makes no sense, but it is what it is. I go do my workouts in the morning and uh, yeah, I can lift way more weight right now compared to before. Who knows? Actually, the science know. Google it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, if uh, it was interesting or helpful somehow, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, see you next time.